uh, setting aside my hair extension education, you guys are the best money I've ever spent besides my Mexican vacation the other week. Um, he's like, oh, you help 10X uh, the potential income of stylists and salon owners and spa owners. And I'm like, <gasps> do I? You know what? I Yeah, you're, you're damn right I do. And you know why? Because I did it to myself. I was looking to get a book to give to a friend and that's when I came across my, my show journal where I had tracked everything. So if there's one thing that I can share with anybody that's doing this program, when you have a win, write it down. When you have a win, accept it. When you have a win, own it. Because if I could do one thing over with all the years and all the hair shows that took this book, I just wish I had enjoyed it. So now I'm enjoying it. And the other thing like with being that luxury stylist, the best thing that my newest client that I will start working with in a couple of weeks said is the reason she reached out to me was because I didn't look perfect. And I just show up, I go online as is but I don't know how to be any other way. So the GSD is just a, um, for myself or any business or any business professional is just a powerhouse of a support system that has your back and just has your best interest. And you guys are all heart. You can't fail with working with you guys. And like your manual says, you're only gonna fail if you don't put in the effort. So it just, invaluable. I don't look at objections anymore as like a confrontation. So I've learned how to diffuse things. And then my um, conversations in texts are just short, polite, to the point. I don't anymore emotionally read into like, uh, and that I will contribute to you guys 100% because um, I've been doing extensions. <laughs> for 17 <laughs> years. We're live. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's going to be a nice animated gift that Val's going to make at the beginning of this one. <laughs> all right. <we> all <laughs> Anyways, what's up, GSD? We're live here. We got another amazing story and journey to document for you guys. Um, we want to, we do these things because we want to add a lot of value to this group, more value than any other group can even imagine to even fathom to keep up. Hope you guys understand that, see that and appreciate it. Let us know if you do in the comments, but this is Cody. I'm sorry. I'm Rahul. He's Cody. And we are from the GSD. That's the first time I've introduced myself as Cody. But anyways, um, I can't get away with it very easily, especially when they card me with your ID. But anyways, um, we're live today. We want to document part two, part do for the French, if that's French, right? Do is French. Uh, part yeah. two of our journey with Anne-Marie. And we were just chatting behind the scenes. That's why we're just starting a little bit late. So apologies for that in advance. Uh, but when you're here, hashtag live, hashtag replay. And then as you're going through here, drop the knowledge bombs that you're about to learn because you're going to learn something, whether it's one thing or five things. Yeah. And just drop those in the comments because we just want to know what you're taking away from here. And of course, we're probably going to have resources that can help you inside of our guides tab that we can tag you in only if we know that exists. So Cody and I run the GSD. We help coaches, consultants, marketers scale up their businesses. The core premise of any real business that's going to turn it from a side hustle or thinking about a side hustle to a company that already exists to actually making real money. You can tell your mom, your dad, your friends and not lie to them that you're actually making good yeah. money is having a dope ass fucking offer that sells. If you're not selling it every single day or every single week at the bare minimum, it doesn't work. You need to tweak it. Um, you have to have traffic like crazy, how to find the traffic and go to them and then maybe run ads and have them come to you. So you have inbound and outbound systems running at the same time forever. Um, and then you need a good selling system. I mean, those are the three core premises of any business that's going to actually amount to something. And then you can actually start growing and run into better and bigger problems like delivery issues and hiring and scaling and firing issues. And when I say the word issues, those are something you want in your life because you haven't even got there yet if you haven't experienced those. Anyways, that's what we do for a living. We help those kind of people just scale their business, streamline it. We call it the Henry Ford power plant because we want to make this shit an assembly line. With that being said, welcome, Henry. Thanks for coming back for part number two. Oh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Man, I got to say, I li literally love our text message conversations. And that's what prompted me to want to have you on here again is because you're you're just like, we, we, we helped you in the beginning and we don't need to go back to that. Maybe we'll touch on it a little bit. 
But then like this round two, we're what half a year in working together around six months or so, maybe a little bit longer. A little longer now. Okay, yep. cool. Yeah. And there, there was this inflection point. I don't even know what inflection means, but I'm going to say inflection point. Uh, there was this point in time where you showed up to one of our calls and you, I can see it in your eyes. It, sound, it looked like you didn't sleep. Um, and you were just like, man, I'm frustrated. And then we walked and solved through that. And since that point in time, like you seemed like you're just a whole different person, like person one that started the GSD that turned into another person. Then this person said, I got more to give. And now you're a second person. So like your future becomes more and more like aggressive in business, monetizing in business, but also at the same time composed as well at the same time. So, so that's what I want to give you a shout out for is like your, your growth momentum and not letting those speed bumps. Cause all they are is those little bumps, right? You just slow yeah. down and go over it. Other people are going to see a speed bump, freak out, fuck up, offer sucks, industry sucks, price sucks, life sucks, <laughs> mom sucks, dog sucks, right? Instead of facing it. Cause that challenge is going to be existent the rest of our breathing lives. We're always going to be faced with fucking challenges. We solve it and make it life simple, easy, and make shit tons of money, or we don't solve it and just go the opposite route. And then W2 is right around the corner for those people, right? Yeah. So, so, so let's talk about the, let's talk about, like, I want to start here with a win, and then we're going to give yeah. the audience some education as in terms of like, how this, like, what got you there? What bottlenecks and hurdles you had to go through and maybe what kind of help we had, we'd walked you through to kind of get there. But I'm just pulling up the text messages and I'm going to skip over the person that stole our hot dog idea. Fuck them. Um, (laughs) But you got, you got a missed call text back. And was that the one that led you to your 3,500 plus the 10,500 future maintenance? Um, That was, that was most recent. Yes. And then, so that was just yesterday, yesterday, I believe. And then, um, the, the part about the 10,000 was in this particular consultation the other day, it seemed like she was leaning towards really thinking about what it would cost her for the year. So thinking about the things that let you and, and Cody teach right then, boom, I was like, wow, oh, wait a minute, time to elevate and raise the game again. And not, I'm not going to beat around the bush. This is what it is. Make it cut and dry. Very simple. Matter of fact, and have the tone that I have hundreds of clients that pay me 10 grand a year when I'm not quite there yet. And I wouldn't even want a hundred clients a year. And so that was really nice to be able to do that because then I had written up the estimate as we were talking, making notes. So we we're just having a conversation. And then I also said to her, I said to her, I said, Hey, I hope you don't mind. What I'm going to do is um, I am going to get your price, but I'm actually going to write it up so you can look at it. And, uh, and then you'll see it. So when I'm sharing with you what everything's going to be, what you're going to get, how it's included, and then you have to make your uh, decision, you can have that to look at while you're just um, thinking. Does that sound good to you? And she's like, yeah, okay. And while I'm explaining that, I was also talking so I could calm myself down and go, oh, my God, I'm actually going to quote this woman like 10K, like <laughs> up front. <laughs> and then and then from there, what spiraled off from there when she was really uh, receptive to that was, OK, what would what would Raul do? Oh, and by the way, you know, if you're really are thinking about spending that for the year, even let's say now. But let's let's probably start with having you have your first appointment. But once you have your first appointment and you want to decide you want to move forward, I really suggest to my clients that there should be a prepayment plan. And if that works, uh, that you like that idea, I can set you up on a, a subscription so that it's just automatic because, you know, your service can last five months, which is a really long time for what you're going to be investing. But at the same time, the time goes by fast. So if you're going to like it, you might as well stay. I absolutely love that. Like you're, you're pivoting on the fly. You're thinking bigger on the fly. You're, you're feeling that fear and anxiety, like, fuck, I'm about to charge the biggest fucking price on, on what I do up front, but you did it anyways. And that's kind of like the simplicity because like, that's so important that you have the tenacity to be able to do that because that's the only way you're going to get paid more is ask for more. Right. There's no, because like, like the example that I learned my very first like analogy in how price works is 
And this was like old school sales, which is still relevant today. I think this line will still work, but it's like as a trainer, but like I think of like price as a haircut. If you chop too much off, it's hard to put it right back on. It's already on the ground. But if you kind of give the bigger price, you can almost bring it down to a level that is comfortable to start, but we have to start, right? So that's the important part and the takeaway for you guys that are are struggling on sales and want, or want to potentially up-level your value in terms of price and what you deliver. Um, now, backing up one second, just so everybody knows, like all you guys out there, I'm assuming you're either a coach, you're a consultant, or you're a marketer. But what you all actually are, are marketers. And then you market so you can actually have opportunities to sell the thing you do. Now, you want to sell to a niche, like a real estate or a hair salon, let's say, for example. <laughs> so what Anne Reed is doing with us is taking full control and saying, I'm going to learn to be a marketer so I can be better than the marketers that are on the internet or on Facebook. I'm going to put it into my own business, which is right behind her. You can see the hair extensions. She owns yeah, it so long. And it's real. It's not It's not a virtual background. Yeah, yeah. That's a real background. So she's inside of her salon. So she's a brick and mortar store owner across the street from where she used to work that charged $25. She now just is charging like $3,500 to $10,000, as you just heard. But also on top of that, she's learned SaaS. And now she has marketing yeah. clients. So she embraced her own business to say, I need to learn these skills. She made a huge amount of money already. Now she's able to now you leverage this so she can have another business unit that sells what she's learned. So she's teaching other people in and around her, her network how she can actually do their automation, do their marketing, do the stuff that she's done so well by, by learning those valuable skills. So it has a lot of benefits all around. Um, so, so going to it, like you mentioned, like, what would I say on a call while you were thinking, like, what is it that you think has been helpful to you? Let's say in the last like two months, now that you've kind of been around six months. So like now what is like month four through six look like for you um, since we're a little bit further along with you? And can you repeat that? Like, yeah, what, like what, what, what are what? like the things, because like early on, it's a water hose of information and you're absorbing, oh, yes. you're figuring things out. <laughs> Now that the yeah. limitless pill has been swallowed over and over again, life has slowed down. You see things before they happen. Like in the last two months, how, how have you kind of transitioned from that beginner with us to like where you are now, how your thinking is, how you're kind of problem solving, how you're closing more consistently, et cetera? Well, my, I'd say my sales thinking is um, more fine-tuned because I was always innately, I've had my own business since 99. So, uh, but the scene, I love the movie, The Matrix. So you say swallow the pill and I feel very comfortable now, like the scene where, um, you know, he's dodging a bullet and he just can bend backwards. Um, I don't look at objections anymore as like a confrontation. Um, I have used uh, your question, Odie's question. Um, are you ranting? Or are you looking for a solution? <laughs> you know, um, so I've learned how to diffuse things. And then my um, conversations in texts are just short, polite, to the point. Um, I don't anymore emotionally read into like, <gasps> um, and one example this particular week, last week was a client, a new client. Uh, she was nervous, I guess, that was the uh, end part of it, about losing some extensions. But what her text came in was, I want to remove them early because I'm going to somewhere. And uh, so I said, okay, I have time. I didn't even say why and get into it. I let her say, how much is that going to be? And I said, well, this and that, you're looking at $600. Mm -hmm. And then, so then her normal reaction was, oh, um, maybe I won't get my hair colored. And so my response to that was, in my professional opinion, I feel that, you know, it, it, it's normal, first of all, just to let you know, to reassure you, it's normal to lose some extensions. And I really recommend that you get your color and you don't get the removal. Mm -hmm. So I actually did a down sell and, um, and, and she was like, oh, okay, thank you. I guess I was just nervous. I said, you're welcome. And so there's just pleasantries anymore. Uh, and that 
I will contribute to you guys 100% because um, I've been doing extensions <laughs> for 17 <laughs> years. It's funny you, you brought up the matrix. I still haven't seen it yet, but like I'm looking at our text messages. Oh, and, and like yes. you have, you oh have, like, God, that's it. That's it. <laughs> yes. That's, oh so, my God. So that's how. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of want to highlight that kind of stuff like right here, because like, I'm just going through, I scrolled back, saw the, saw the messages while you were talking. Cause I want to just pull out like how, like we're, we're interactive supporting Emory at, at every step of the way. And I'm just reading from like Monday did SEO stuff to Don site. So you got Don right. on SEO. Yep. Um, then, and uh, what's the next thing? My latest wins just on, like, I can't see the date, but it was just like within the week. Uh, one page, one page auto care website, one thousand nine hundred ninety five plus ninety five dollars per month maintenance. Oh, Don yeah, for SEO on our site, two two hundred fifty dollars <laughs> for one hour. Oh. I'm up to a hundred or four hundred for a month recurring revenue just within that same day. Um, what else do we have on here? Like this is just the whole like publicity. Oh, like, no. This is a wins thread just by us by text. You got a VSL from Cody's uh, formatting. Um, you set up your dashboard with, with Teddy from our, our collaboration with John, the 3,500. Oh just- Thank you, Cody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, to tag on to that, um, I've always know how to, I've always had, I've always know that know how to hustle. Yeah. But like, because fact of the matter is I grew up poor. So if I sold more cheesecake, I could pay my rent. And then life got better. And then if I wanted to go on another vacation, I sold another set of hair extensions, right? And so, but the one thing I'd shy away, and thank you, Cody, would be like, oh, we have an accountant. We've got people that take care of that. That's wrong. That is bad business. And I am, um, thank you, Cody. (laughs) Oh, my God. Um, I am so happy for the tracker. So I know that, yeah, I don't know your follow-up video, if that's a year from now. I can't fathom what it's going to look like because for the first time in my adult life and i'll say it i'm 53 we're debt free so and we handle our stuff well but it can be handled better did i finally like um i have almost the whole teddy dashboard set up um have a glimpse of what our net worth is and uh and then I had read a book in um, in 96, it was called Your Money or Your Life. And it talks about your choices that you make with your time and with your money. And who do you wanna spend most of your time with, your family or your coworkers because you bought three things you don't need and with the boss you don't like. So that was always impactful. But now there was something that happened last week and you might've saw it. I was at the grocery store and there was a gentleman in the next cash, the next lane. He was 102. So you guys have uh, helped with the sales training without a doubt. Um, And to Cody's credit too, when he says about reverse engineering, what type of money he puts in the lifestyle. And it's not always about the money. It's about how much do you either want to make or how much time do you want to have off? So then seeing the guy that's 102, that happened, I think, was it the day before I got the dashboard? I'm 53. I'm not going to assume that I'll die today or die tomorrow. And I'm not going to assume that I'm not going to, maybe I'm going to live to 102. So I, I got, I got more work to do. Uh-uh. <laughs> I got more work to do. Um, so uh, I, I put it in a thread in um, the chat, uh, setting aside my hair extension education. Um, you guys are the best money, I, best money I've ever spent on besides my Mexican vacation the other week. Um, yeah, but, well, but, but, we'll do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's start there. I know the vacation was a great experience, but like now you can take more vacations, right? The investment oh, yeah. into, into you like allowed you not necessarily to take, you probably would have taken the vacation anyways. I'm not going to doubt that. But the point being is when you're on vacation, that text message that you sent me, it said 7,000 and 900 some odd dollars and blah, blah, blah. For the two days I worked of the month, right? While you're in Mexico, probably sipping some, some cool drinks by a pool, right? Yeah. But, but yeah. that freedom, there's not freedom of, being so confident that money can replenish itself at any given fucking moment faster than maybe a couple of years ago, because now you have an arsenal of skills, right? 
Absolutely. And there's one other thing while I was in Mexico that I accomplished and all of us, you guys, everybody like in this space, but especially you guys and myself included, I was like, get over fears, do it, whatever that it is. Well, you know something, I almost drowned when I was 11 and I let fear hold me back and I still have let fear hold me back to a point where I can't jump into water, but I actually floated on my back. And then there was one evening I was in the pool by myself and I'm short and it was only up here. And I was just like, swim. I was talking to myself, swim to that damn pole. You can't teach anybody about getting over fear and trying something new. If you're not going to do it, swim, God damn it. Mm-hmm. And so, so I did. Yeah. So, um, but which is a nice story, but the visualization, cause that's, I'm very, very visual. I've been that way since I was a kid, like I'll see a movie and, and like in my head about a goal or have an idea or you can say something and it paints the whole like steps without reading the manual half the time. And then, um, and then Cody's, Cody's content classes are just like magical. Um, and then I was in the pool in Mexico and I did just um, get a new makeover agreement for $3,975 before I left, went to Mexico, came back. And then the other screenshot I showed you, which was from yesterday, another agreement. So then when you guys say social proof um, and by documenting, not just making stuff up, it's so true. And then the word lifestyle. So I really came back in a different place from Mexico because this is all happening. And then the other big fear with doing all this stuff was you're right. Raul. when I came, when I came into the GSD program, I was like a floundering fish and a little little frazzled because uh, yeah, we know the backstory. I had, I had been burned by another coach, but that didn't even matter because it was me that was frazzled. So if anything, like I look back now, like, Oh, when I see people that say, Oh, I have a problem client. How do you fire them? There's going to be a little occasionally you might have that. But now that I look back, I could have just handled every one of those confrontations that I turned into a confrontation that was inside my head Mm -hmm. into something not so um so i'm calm now because you help unfrazzle me and i'll I'll still tell you cody from that first call that we had when he did the scary offer and he had computed like all the information that i spew out because i tend to fire hose people um he's like oh you help 10x uh, the potential income of stylists and salon owners and spa owners. And I'm like, <gasps> do I, you know what? I, yeah, you're, you're damn right. I do. And you know why? Because I did it to myself. Um, I was looking to get a book to give to a friend. And that's when I came across my, my show journal where I had tracked everything. So if there's one thing that I can share with anybody that's doing this program, when you have a win, write it down. When you have a win, accept it. When you have a win, own it. Because if I could do one thing over with all the years and all the hair shows that took this book, I just wish I had enjoyed it. So now I'm enjoying it. And the other thing, like with being that luxury stylist, the best thing that my newest client that I will start working with in a couple weeks said is the reason she reached out to me was because I didn't look perfect. And I just show up, I go online as is, but I don't know how to be any other way, but me. And then you guys always say, uh, repet- uh repetition is the mother of success. And then Cody, well, it's, it's good. It's good document. Don't create content, right? That's something that you're talking about. Like, yeah. like, what you're talking about right now is telling your story. You were the person that they are. You became the person they want to be. And you're learning to tell that story better and better whilst living the lifestyle that they want, right? You lean into that, you attract your clients. And that's what you're starting to see is just being open with it, being okay with the conversation and then then acquiring, obviously building the business and the lifestyle you want comes from that just by talking it through and, and, and getting better and better as you go. 
Yeah. And I have have a question for you that you mentioned something earlier. You mentioned like uh, Mexico aside for a second. Um, You mentioned like business owner since 1999. And then you later in the conversation, you said, this is the best investment you've made. Like, why, why do you feel that way? Okay, so the hair extensions, um, I got a jump on it in 2006. I spent close to 25000 getting certified by six different companies because I knew that that in my market was going to set me apart very, very early, and I wasn't mm-hmm. wrong, and I was going to find a way to make it happen. Yeah, the things they don't teach is how to handle the customers. Like once you're at a different level of people spending certain amounts of money, there's higher expectations in my professional experiences. And as much as I did well, I'm focusing now on hospitality, thanks to you guys. And then the other thing I'm doing and won't ever stop doing, which I implemented in February, was you got to book a call. So I'm talking to people again because I had relied too much on my software stack. So um, it's invaluable to be able to have access to you guys um, with the schedule and that even just that knowing that that's there. And I had heard this, like on one of your other calls, usually then I'm like, uh, what would Cody or Raul do? Oh yeah, that's right. Or I have the resources to go look it up or I just wait, like sleep on it. Ah, oh, it's not big, no big deal. Or I pop into a webinar mm-hmm. and go, Hey, <laughs> no, how, like, how would you describe the GSD if you're talking to somebody else behind our backs, like in a sentence or two? Uh, so the GSD is just a um, for myself or any business or any business professional is just a powerhouse of a support system that has your back and just has your best interest. And you guys are all heart and there isn't a, you can't fail with working with you guys and like your manual says you're only going to fail if you don't put in the effort so it just invaluable <laughs> is there is there any lack of support that you've experienced along the way no nah, no nah, i can't no i didn't you've always shown up i mean cody even showed up in italy so that's why i showed up for my customer in mexico yeah, so that that's exactly right. Seven days, seven seven calls. Um, we're we're there for everybody. But anyways, Anne Marie, thank you so much for jumping on. I know you have an appointment right now that came from Miss Call Text Pack. Go take it, close some deals. Bring okay, some what's your eye? Bring home the bacon. Cody and I will hang out right. for just a couple ooh. more minutes. Oh, the, the, ooh, you got that in. That's gonna make the uh, a caption video for you. <laughs> All right, bye, Anne Marie. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. So based on what we just uh, discovered here, anybody drop your takeaways while we're streaming right now. And then just think about the the journey and the story. Like we have a business owner from 1999. She mentioned she's 53 years old. Some of you guys are going to be older. Some of you guys are going to be younger. But everybody, if you believe and you have that belief system that when is it your turn? Are you going to be next? Like who wants to be next to be successful just for your own purposes? That's really the question you have to ask. Am I next? Or am I not next? Those are the only two things you have to ask because this is a superpower that anybody can have kind of like Cody possesses it. I possess it. Emery's still learning it along the journey, but it feels bulletproof in the sense to be able to have the confidence and the skill set to be able to say, if everything disappeared, but my phone and my laptop, this could be built brick by motherfucking brick over and over and over again. So we don't let things happen to us. We control things that do. Um, And that's the beautiful thing about the term winter is coming from Tony Robbins, because everybody's going to get hit with a shit storm of life, personal and business. But can you take advantage and become that millionaire in those times? Like right now, economic downturn, wars breaking out. There's a lot of shit going on in this world. that's going to get worse. Um, and that's the opportunity that everybody has to capitalize on and and monetize, capitalize, help and get to that point where you can do philanthropy. But you got to ask yourself, are you next? That's the number one question you got to ask. And if you are and you want our help, DM us, drop a comment saying I'm next and we'll reach out to you. You'll discover like all your gaps in your business. You'll get a battle call with one with me or Cody and Ahmad, one of us we will actually personally jump on them, too. Um, And we'll just walk you through those holes in the business and see if you want to fix them. It's very simple. 
There's no obligation, no cost. There's only upside. Anything to add, Cody? Honestly, I know you're in the zone and that was a great monologue, but you lost me so hard at Winter is Coming and then attributing that to Tony Robbins instead of Game of Thrones, which was one of the most popular shows of all time. And that was, I mean, two two things I I don't do is I I don't watch (laughs) Game of Thrones or Matrix. (laughs) So I can't really, I saw Limitless. Literally literally on one call, you said you've never seen two of probably the best pieces of of media that have existed in the last decade. But you could quote Boiler Room line for line for an hour, probably straight the whole. Thing. <laughs> I've seen Suits ten, years, ten dozen times. <laughs> Fantastic. No, other guys, if you want, if you want to experience any of this, right? Even if you're on the on the edge and you want to get to know Electric like, Trust us yet, I mean, the best place to start probably be the VIP. The best place to get a lot of results really fast, the way Anne does, and the way you're seeing a lot of these these people every single week. We're showing up with these student spotlights for that's the inner circle. That's every single day. That's 24 seven access to support channels, three, four of them, different ones where you get private access to us all the time for all the skills you could possibly need to make this shit happen. Right, just like we've had with Anne, her telling you here today, just like we showed you with Cheyenne making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of ads that I helped her with, just like we have like my who just joined the program a week or two ago and already made a $6,000 deal off of what Rahul helped her do for sales and what I helped her set up for presentations. Kim, you saw us take from zero to 20K in a couple of months and on and on and on, right? So if you don't trust results and you don't trust speeches like this that you're seeing for yourself, then the best way to do it is just to figure it out for yourself by uh, skipping a cup of coffee at seven bucks to try your first month. That price something's going up soon. I don't know when, but probably we're going to start it for the Black Friday things. That's what it does. So probably then the price is going to be going up. So if you've been on the edge of joining it, you want to know what we're all about, uh, click that button. I don't know why it's showing a pair of yoga pants, but click that button. I promise we're not yoga teachers. <laughs> we're oh. And we'll yeah. go from there, guys. Yeah, click it. We, love it. We, we, do, we do like the yoga. We're not against it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it's the Diamond Club. The Diamond Club is is fucking badass. Um, I'm, since we're on here for a couple more minutes, I'm just going to share my screen and just show you guys what it is. And if you guys have any questions, just ask it in the in the stream right now. And if you catch in the replay, ask it in the uh, ask it in the uh, uh, stream anyways on the replay, and then we'll answer those too. But it's super simple to understand and interpret right here. So you'll get this thing. This is you like what I did. Like right now, you can see that this is technically forty seven dollars. But here, what I dropped in the chat is a, a, sim, uh, a cheaper version, right? The same exact thing. Why does it say that? Let me go here. Diamond Club. Anyways, it's the same exact thing, except the link I dropped in there is the uh, $7 version. So you can try it out for a month. You can get access to all of this stuff here. So like, let's go over the juice. You can see all the street cred we got by some of the best people you probably already heard of. Um, you can have side-by-side access. You'd be on this Zoom tomorrow with us live talking to me and Cody asking any question there could be one question you have that's burning in your head that can unleash 20,000 30,000 your next client getting to you to that next level uh, this isn't college we don't teach fucking philosophy we're snipers at the top of the building looking down up from the mountaintops giving you precision like answers to get to that next stage in your business um, you get two of our self-paced agency foundations. This is no nonsense training. We're just going to show you how you can be building the foundations of a $10,000 business per month. So we're talking six figure earners, big, big bucks, templates of blueprints, like a blueprint means here is exactly what to do, how to do it, when to do it, why to do it. And then you just follow the blueprint and just check the boxes off. Like, so I don't know who can fail. Like, like almost like if you go to 7-Eleven, there's a big sign that says push and pull, just follow that fucking sign, right? That's all these templates and frameworks are. Um, and then you'll have a huge network. There's people in there, over 400 people in this group that are literally networking, referring businesses and making money off a $7 initial investment, right? So that's really what it is. Um, you can read story after story. I don't even know if you have enough. You may not live long enough to watch all our testimonials. That's how many we have. Um, cause these are all for you guys to it, like it influence you guys that you guys are next. You don't have to have, because somebody fucked you over in the past, that doesn't mean you're fucked over in the future. The only person that hurts is you if you don't invest in yourself. Right. Um, because if you, let's say you went to a restaurant and had a bad meal, does that mean you'll never eat again? Highly doubt that. Right. Same thing with your business. Take it a little bit serious and make those risks. So you're a reflection of the person you will attract. You don't believe in your investment in yourself. Chances are the people you're pitching 
may not believe in you too. So with that being said, Cody, take us away for the ending. Um, I would love for everybody to indulge in this. We have people from India, Pakistan, Philippines, Indonesia, all kinds of people getting resourceful um, in, in third world countries, the first world and second world, right? So anybody can make it happen if they're resourceful, thoughtful, and just show up. That's it. That's yeah. simple. I mean, there's nothing out of that, guys. Let's just wrap. I like that speech by Rahul. You know what to do. Grab the Diamond Club. Tomorrow's going to be early. So I know you guys might be used to 2 p.m. PST. Tomorrow's going to be at 10 a.m. PST. So in the morning, we're going to be going over something called the Optimal Selling Strategy. It's a framework that I have put together for the GSD uh, based on the concept of an optimal selling strategy I got from the book Ready, Fire, Aim. But it's something that we use as a three-phase framework inside of the program lately, and I'm going to be revealing it and kind of going over it conceptually with you guys tomorrow. It's going to be badass. I would pay attention and we'll be live at 10 a.m. in this 10 a. very- 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So one last question before we go. So you read the book, Ready, Fire, Aim. How long did it take you to read and how many times did you read it? Hmm? How long did it take you to read and how many times did you read it? The book, Ready, Fire, Aim? Yes. Uh, it took me a couple of months to read it. Okay, a couple of months. He's going to save you those couple of months tomorrow and give you the core principles that you can just skip that line. You just saved a couple of months. So seven bucks is all it is. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bye, guys.